All right, good morning, everyone. New moon energy came in yesterday evening around 5, 6 central time, bringing lots of new energy with it. I know it's dark of the moon. I mean, I know it's a new moon, so we don't see it, and all the stars are out, but it brings in lots of light, even though we don't see it. And so it's important to honor that light within you. And this Virgo moon, last of the summer, it ushers in the spring, uh, the, the fall equinox. It opens up the eclipse season. So lots of energy is going to be moving forward. Mercury is direct. So it is a time to really be gentle with yourself. Notice that way in which you ground with that root chakra with Mother Earth. Sometimes a low part of Virgo energy is about self-doubt. Who am I? Wanting the outside ver uh, validation of your own self-worth. And so that's really the work because the higher light, the higher vibration of Virgo is knowing how you fit in, knowing what your service is, knowing how you put your work out into the community. Virgo has a lot of service energy with it. It is ruled by Mercury as well. So a lot of this energy now is straightening out, moving forward. There's a lot in the atmosphere, the cosmic forces. I'm not going to pretend there's not, especially as we go into the eclipse season. But really what we want to focus on now is really grounding in that root energy, grounding your soul, grounding your intentions right into that deepest part of your heart, setting that energy. And so perhaps, hopefully, you did a little review time during Mercury Retrograde to kind of really recognize, all right, what's the growth coming in for me? What have I been working on this summer, seen or unseen? I know a lot of what I did this summer was unseen. It was in my soul, right? Sometimes it's in the crop. Sometimes it's in your work. Sometimes it's in your money, whatever it is for you. And then these intentions we set this week is going to carry us all the way through to that portal of energy that the eclipse opens up to like September 17th, I think, on that full moon. It's a Pisces lunar eclipse. So we really want to be really impeccable with our word. We want to really honor that, what we're putting out. The universe has ears. <laughs> so if we put out the lower vibration, meaning the lack or I really need this or I don't have enough, that's what it's going to hear. So we really just want to be open to receiving the intentions that you set out. They talk about, um, I love this idea, I'll talk about this later tonight at, at the event I'm doing at Ritual and Shelter, but the whole idea of practical magic. All right, the practical part of Virgo is coming forward for us. So looking for those simple things in life, those little things that kind of confirm the steps along the way. So it is the energy of finding a feather, picking up a dime. These things we want to honor, like, okay, yes, here I am. Universe is sending me this message. I'm right here where I'm supposed to be. And that's how we start to build the confidence for all the manifesting we do. We can't just go to the really big ones, right? Like then we'll never get there. Then he's like, I can't do it. Manifesting doesn't work. Actually, we were calling it at one of my groups instead of manifesting, moonfesting, moonifesting, right? More of the feminine energy, really opening up to that part of you that allows for the abundance to come in, that allows for yourself to receive it, that allows for love, the currency of love, love of the heart, love of relationships, love of money, love of energy, all of that which is starting to permeate all around us right now. You are the ones that need to be able to open up to receive this. I know I've been working on this and I love this feeling every morning, just kind of waking up thinking like, okay, the universe loves me. I love the universe. Money loves me. I love money. My work loves me. I love my work. And just filling up the heart. Yes, my hands are on my heart, running energy through and letting all that vibration come in rather than getting into the fear, especially first thing in the morning. So really embracing the idea of that practical energy all around you. Let it be magical and open up to the intentions that you want to set. Now, some of the energy with that Neptune and Uranus and Mars and all this energy, you might want to try to complicate it a little bit. Like, oh, no, this isn't what I'm looking for. Oh, no, this isn't big enough or whatever. Stay simple. Embrace that value. Get outside. Feel your feet on the earth. The weather is shifting. This morning it was out early. It was dark. And the stars, they're all lining out in, out in the sky. It's amazing. I can see 
Pluto. I can see Mars. All right, the Pleiades is up there too. I can feel it. I don't really know if I can see it, but I can feel it. And that's what we want to do is bring this vibration in and feel yourself aligning with the rhythm. The wind is blowing. The acorns are falling. We're probably going to have an early winter. We'll probably see that weather change. I think we have some shifting of weather coming in next week as well. So what does that mean for you and the energy you put out into the world? So as we open up to this energy under the new moon, I have a brand new sage. We're going to open up with this idea of newness, grounding in that idea and really feel yourself connecting. We'll move through our opening spirit to spirit. Then we're going to take some time to write our intentions out, write them in your journal, find your crystal that you want to hold that vibration for you. And then we're going to bring all that energy into our hands and use a little Reiki to help us just really Set the energy out into the etheric through our aura, program the aura, so that we can follow these intentions right into the rest of the season, the month, all of that energy for you. So let's begin. Taking a nice deep inhale, breathing up the body, and exhale, breathing all the way down. So I go to like this brand new sage under this brand new light of the moon. Start to notice this energy coming in for you, pulling it in, noticing the element of air, clearing the mind, clearing the space, allowing for your spirit to pull in, calling in the element of water, allowing it to rush through the heart, opening up, Moving through the emotional energy, calling through the element of earth, grounding, centering, feeling all these sacred elements coming in around you. Feel how they resonate within you. Taking another deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, call all your energy into you. Call it in. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And as you exhale, call all the energy in, start to align the spiritual body, right on top of the physical, the emotional, the mental bodies, all centering. Taking another deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, dropping into the heart, right here in the deepest part of your heart, Feeling that connection, your spirit and the greater spirit. Know that you are loved, guided, protected. Feeling all this energy coming in deep into your heart as we go to set this beautiful sacred space. Under the energy of this new moon, we call in our Reiki masters. We call in our teachers. We call in the angels for love, opening our hearts. Calling in the crystal beings for that amusement, magnification. Calling in your higher self. Feel the alignment right above the crown, receiving the messages for you under this new moon energy. Inhale, breathing up the body, opening up your radiance into the higher realm. Exhale, breathing all the way down, calling in absolute light, streams of grace to move all the way through the radiant light, all the way deep into the earth. Inhale, right back up from the earth, activating all the chakra energy, the upper chakras, the higher self, all the way up. Exhale, all the way back down. Feel this radiance within you opening up. And now opening from the heart, breathing, expanding through the aura. Let it breathe. Let it open, clearing the energy. Exhale, pull it back in. Inhale, expanding the breath. Notice to the front, to the side, to the back, to the other side. All the awareness of your aura energy. Just let it breathe. Bring it in. Open it up. Breathe it in. Notice the back body. Open it up, just breathing through the energy, moving any stuck fields of energy. Breathe it in. Returning to that vertical breath up the body. And exhale, breathing all the way down. Taking this time to notice where you are on this great wheel of life. 
here, right where I am, we find ourselves right at the end of summer. We notice this direction of the south where we have been having amusement and fun and being out growing. We honor this growth, calling in the directions to guide and protect us to the south, the west, the north, and the east. Above us, up to Father Sky, below us, down to Mother Earth, and now right here, right in the center of your heart, opening up to these intentions you want to set. Feel them, see them, know them, and as you start to write them out, feel them each right in the heart. How will this help you serve humanity? How will this help you along your path? Feel it from your heart as you begin to write these intentions out. I am receiving. I am opening. See it. Hear it. Feel it. Know it. Refreshing your intentions. Sending Reiki, Han Chin Se Shonen, Han Chin Se Shonen, Han Chin Se Shonen, out to you as you write these intentions. intentions come in, opening the heart to receive, inhaling as you write each one from the heart, not the mind, drop into the heart, the deepest part, this energy. We're going to call all of this energy. How you feel as you set these intentions right here in the deepest part of your heart. And then we're going to call in the energy of Reiki to help us. So bring in the hands right to the heart in the Gaucho position. Namaste Mudra. Imagine you're bringing the energy of these intentions right from your heart. Feel the energy between your hands. Feel the depth of your soul with these intentions. Get out of the mind, into the heart. Breathe right here, right here. Bring the awareness to your hands. Recognizing everything is energy and you are the co-creator of this energy. The flow of currency, the flow of love all around you through your heart, right between the hands. Just feel the essence of this energy right between your hands. Take a deep inhale, breathing up into the heart, pausing in the heart. Exhale, release the breath. Keep that awareness in the hands. As we call in the Reiki energy, setting this energy, we call in the symbols, the Shokure, 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 empowering these intentions for you, feel this vibration of light coming in all around you, right here with the awareness in your hands, feeling that powerful energy. And we want to set this into our aura, into the ethers. Han Chin Se Shonen, Han Chin Se Shonen, Han Chin Se Shonen. Begin to let this energy open up a little bit. And we ask to remove any obstacles that take us away from these intentions. Sehaki, sehaki, sehaki. Anything less than light. Anything less than light. Just feel that release down, holding the awareness in the hands. Let it start to open up a little more. Feel the energy. Bring all that awareness, your heart, 
your soul, the co-creation under the energy of this new moon, holding this vibration for you. And we slowly start to expand it through our aura field. Place the awareness right in front of you. You can open the hands a little to the front. Placing the awareness to the left of you. Place the awareness to the right. Place the awareness behind you. And now feel this energy draw a circle around you, representing your aura with your intentions. Let it open arm's width. Feel this vibration of light all around you. Ask for a color to fill the aura field. Whatever color shows up for you, be in that vibration. Programming your aura. Notice, setting the intentions. And now let it open up even more, expanding this light all around, opening it up for the freedom, this or better, this or more, I ask to receive. Inhaling. And exhaling, release it all around you, all around you through that 12th chakra, all around that miracle energy that sets this energy in motion for you. Release it out, take a deep inhale, and exhale, come back to the heart. And then releasing any doubt, any fear, just tapping on the body, I am aligned. I am setting intentions for my path. Moving through the point, saying your intentions. I am. I am receiving. I am abundant. I am joyous. I am love. I am open. I am healthy. Happy. I am opening to my intentions. Through my soul, I feel. I see, I know, I am, I am. Be in this vibration of light for you, receiving these intentions, setting this energy all around you. I am, feel the alignment, the rhythm of your soul, helping you create, co-create with source. I am, I am. I come to the karate chop, choosing to love and accept myself no matter what. Take a breath, release the energy. Feel this vibration of light all around you. We take this time to offer the gratitude for all the many blessings we have, bringing the hands right back up to the heart. We seal all of this in, the great shoku ray, shoku ray, shoku ray, feeling that vibration for you. Inhaling and exhaling, grounding this right into the root chakra, deep into Mother Earth. Gratitude for this new cycle. Gratitude for the cosmic forces, the beautiful moon, all of the star people helping us to open up our light bodies, to receive, to bring in. Gratitude for the spirit, the connection you have with the greater spirit. Gratitude for showing up for you, inhaling and exhaling all the way down deep into the earth. Feel the power of your third chakra, holding these intentions. Feel your heart opening. Feel the third eye illuminating. And as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open. Coming back. Place your journal, your altar, on your altar. Put some crystals on there. Hold this vibration. 
You can set more energy for you as it comes in. Notice what you notice in the simple things all around you. To your spirit, namaste. We will meet tomorrow. I'll do a card reading and continue on from there. Have a great day.